Hello everyone and welcome back to another John Hammond YouTube video. Uh, we're going to have some fun today. We've got a little stand-in desk going on so we can be a little bit more mobile, have a good time here. Um, a few days ago, my good friend Fawaz reached out to me on Twitter and he said, Look John, I'm putting together this super cool extravagant little scavenger hunt try hack me room. And inside the try hack me room there are going to be some giveaways like sprinkled in. You can win potentially an eLearn Security Junior Penetration Tester exam voucher. You could win some Try Hack Me vouchers, uh, some throwback vouchers. I think there was, you know what, let's, let's dive into this. Let's just do the thing. So I'll hop over to my little computer screen here. And here we are at the Great Escape. Uh, it says, our devs have created an awesome new site. Can you break out of the sandbox here? It has a medium difficulty, so I'm probably gonna get my stuff pushed in. But, you know, let's tinker. Uh, this is totally a raw video in that I have never seen this before, so uh, I will try to pause the video when we do stuff that I'm like absolutely failing at, but I'm literally going in cold, as cold as I can right now, so uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. This room is linked to a community giveaway by the wonderful Fawaz, that is totally true, you know what, that's an absolute fact, that he is in fact, without a doubt, wonderful, so uh, go give this guy some love, guys. Any user who completes this room within three days of release, as in the 17th of February 2021, so hopefully this video will be able to go live at that point, uh, will be entered into a raffle for the chance to win one of the following prizes. One EJPT exam voucher, one of two throwback network vouchers, and one of seven one-month subscription vouchers to a trihack ami. So uh, that's it, man. That's, that's what we're doing. We're going to dive into this. We got the IP address and everything ready. I've uh, connected the VPN and spun up the machine, joined the room. So let's bump around. I'll, uh, I'll fire up my terminal here. Uh, let's make a directory for the great escape. This is the first time that I'm recording on the upper monitor. So I uh, am going to have to look down repeatedly to actually see my keyboard because I have not yet mastered the typing while not looking at my keyboard just yet. Let's start with a little nmap scan. We'll do an nmap tac sc tac sv tac on tac uh, nmap initial and slap in that IP address. There we go. Uh, I should have put that in verbose mode. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Um, while that's doing its thing, we can just kind of go see if there's anything worthwhile on port 80 on our own here. Yeah, yeah, okay, we have a Docker Escape NUXT title, uh, which is spooky wookie. Photo Classroom, welcome to Photo Classroom, check out our courses to get started. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm gonna hit Control U just to view the source here. Lot of weird JavaScript files being included. Some totally all-in-one line, inline CSS. That's disgusting. Oh my gosh, that's so hard to read. I'm not even going to. Not even going to read it. More JavaScript files. <laughs> okay, these are all underscore nuxt. What is that? What is nuxt? The intuitive view framework. Oh no. 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 Cool modern hipster JavaScript frameworks. You're killing me, dude. All right, let's put that away <laughs> for now. Let's check out the courses. Oh, I need to log in. All right, let's check out the admin panel. Still probably need to log in. Um, is there anything neato bonito on this page? Nope, just more view. Uh, let's create an account. Signups are currently disabled to prevent rogue accounts. How did they know? How did they know I'd be here? Nmap's still cranking. I really should have set that in verbose mode. Okay. Um, log in as admin and admin. Nope. <laughs> that, was, that was too easy. How about password, right? Nope. Still too easy. Okay. How about pass one, two, three? I'm just kidding. Let's try some SQL injection, you know? You know, a good old one, two, a good old or one equals one. Slap that in. Uh, that's using kind of like a SQLite syntax there when we use the hyphen hyphen or the dash dash for a comment. That fails. Invalid username or password. Uh, let's switch this to a double quote. Yep. Still no. Cool. Dash dash again. Nope. Great. Uh, let's do the let's do the go buster. How about that? 
Let's do a little GoBuster Dur. Uh, attack you, and we do want to go to that IP address. So we'll slap that in. We'll do a little tack W. Let's throw in opt directory word list lowercase. And that died. To force process. Oh, no. What? The server returns a status code that matches the provided options for non-existing URLs, as in that thing just returned. No. So if I were to go to like slash anything, it would just be like, yeah, dude, totally cool. It's still a 200 response, right? Is there a little cheeky robots.txt? I mean, it's a view frame or it's a JS thing. I really doubt it. Oh, <laughs> okay. We should have done that first, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we can't go to the API. Uh, exif util, as in maybe exfiltration utils, is weirdly commented out. I don't know. Can you have comments in robots.txt? Is that a thing? And uh, anything.back.txt. That's pretty juicy. Might have some good stuff in here. Oh, nothing to see here. Move along. Is that right? Is that right? Oh, our end maps can't finish. Let's try to go buster dir that API endpoint there. See if he gets any see if he gets any good love there. Let's check out that end map scan. If we take a little subble in our end map directory, we got some good SSH here. We have a strange generic lines output that I don't exactly know what that is. Port 80 does see Nginx. That's, that, is that an old Nginx version or something? That that looks like a low number. <laughs> One. <laughs> uh, Robots.txt has those entries. Yep, as we saw, exif util. It's weird that that is just kind of commented out. So let's go back to that thing. Exif util. Exif utils. Upload file. And from URL. Uh, what is this going to process it with, though? It's not like I can do like a PHP upload. What are, what are the prompts here, by the way? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Start off with a simple web app. Can you find the hidden flag? Find the flag hidden in the web app. Mm, what kind of, is there a flag format? Is it a THM? Is it a flag curly braces? Is it, should I be still digging through source code? Um, THM. Can I like actually see the contents of that Nux directory? Nope, totally forbidden. Well, just for safekeeping, let's totally make a mirror directory and hop over there and let's try and wget tack m that whole thing and download literally everything that you see. Um, because if there is a flag in that javascript in one of those javascript files i just kind of want to see i kind of want to know so i'll do a cheeky strings on literally everything oh yeah yeah i know it's a directory use they're all going to be in nuxt though um i can do a find right yeah 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 and then uh find to list out all the files in the current directory and then we'll just do like a while read line which you could totally do in xargs but uh let's echo that or just like let's let excuse me <laughs> let's strings each line uh we need to do there to actually you know do that boof all right uh now we got a lot of output let's see if we got a little thm curly brace nope how about a little flag curly brace? How about a little fawaz curly brace? Nope. Okay. Not exactly helpful. I'll be honest. Not not really not really handing me any favors here. Let's go back to our good old exif util. Um. And if Durbuster isn't finding anything out of that API which it still hasn't, I might just be a crazy dude and go bust through the thing again out of that Xville endpoint. So let's do that. Opt directory. Because I want to see if there's like a slash uploads. No, that actually gets me to something. So that's not extremely helpful. Maybe it does something weird with the API when I upload something though. So like let's 
make a directory uploads. And then let's subl a test.html, I guess. We'll throw a little like good proper standard. In oh, okay. Thanks, Sublime Text. Just crank that out. I appreciate that. Test. This is a test. And that's all we need. So let's go ahead and upload this file. Um, I think I'm going to be in CTF. I'm going to be in Try Hack Me. Great Escape. Uploads test. Yeah, yeah. That cried. Service temporarily unavailable. Are you kidding me? File name test. The form date is totally fine. A padding to disable MISC Microsoft Internet Explorer and Chrome friendly error page. Is the API broke? Wait, there's an admin cookie? No. Weird. Um, all token local equals false. I feel like that's going to be some view thing, and I won't exactly know what to do with it. So, From URL might be worthwhile, though. If that API just isn't doing things. <laughs> uh, let's go to slash API again. It says nothing to see here, move along, which is lying to me because we know exif is in there, but that's just broke. Oh, 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 exif utils must be, exif must be getting metadata. It must be like running exif tools. So is it just gonna like run a command with that? Is that gonna be, like will it download a file as an image and then like run a command with it. Let's uh, let's keep bumping around. Uh, I'm gonna copy my headshot in here. So let's get that stupid mug, stupid mug going on. <laughs> and uh, let's see if we can just spin up a little Python server to, to you know, whack this thing. So uh, I'm gonna move into that other directory or another terminal where I had put this. Gosh, so that's an uploads. And then we'll use a little Python 3 tech mhttp.server. Cool, now we're up on port 8000. So my IP address is that thing. So if I were to simply go to HTTP that thing and go to headshot.png on port 8000, you stupid boy. That's it. You get my ugly mug. So let's go to from URL and get that exact same thing again. Let's move this terminal over here just so I can see hopefully the requests come through. We'll do it. Something bad happened. Please verify that the URL is valid. Excuse me? Oh, stupid port. <laughs> Now we got the request tab open, we have the server open, uh, and we have the thing. So let's do it. What is wrong? Please enter a URL to an image. That is, that is. It's, that's literally a URL to an image. HTTP, IP address. Are you like sketched out about my port 8000? Is that what it is? Do I need a domain name? Let's, uh, let's do this on port 80 then. Whack. Now going to that on port 80 will still give me my headshot. And, oh gosh, bring me back to exifutil, get to a from the URL, include that in there. Let's just do it from that page because that already had the thing up. Something bad happened, please verify that the URL is valid. Why? What is the problem? Let's check out the request tab. There's a get. Exif a URL. That. 
Um, oh, that's another service temporarily unavailable. Is that intended? <laughs> I'll be honest, you know, is that a thing? Let me, let me, let me reach out to Fawaz, like just for a sanity check, I know, cause I'm not exactly positive if that is what it's supposed to do. Um, URL equals A, service temporarily unavailable. API exif, nothing to see here, move along. Yeah, it's worth asking, I think. I'll pause the video recording. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Uh, I asked around, um, and thanks to the community, they told me that, yeah, actually, the 503s actually are intended because of rate limiting on the login. Um, so I, uh, while I was asking around, I just kind of re reverted the box and, and spun up a new one. Um, just in case, like, okay, if it wasn't intentional, that I would need a new instance. And if it was intentional, uh, anyway, who cares? <laughs> we hadn't really gotten anywhere yet. So uh, now we have a new IP address. And if it actually is, in fact, due to rate limiting then maybe my serious amount of uh, go buster wasn't exactly helping. So let's, uh, let's go check out the new IP address, which is up. Okay. So we know from our robots.txt here, we got these instances API and exif util. Let's try and get to that API slash exif now. And that still kind of dies. <laughs> So maybe that's not actually what I need to go to. However, that actually does end up returning something now. So get on its own in the, um, using an HTTP get method on its own on that API exif endpoint seems to get that 503, but getting with the URL in there does actually return something. So let's see if we can go ahead and get that headshot one more time. Now that looks like it's actually getting a response from a URL thing. I don't know how this is doing it. Maybe it's running curl or something, um, but we should be able to just run a little headshot.png. And there we go, exif. I'm not positive what this is doing or how it's doing it, but I don't know what information might be present here. M Am I going to be doing command injection? Am I going to be doing something? So I can see the request come through server side, right? There's that. But can I include like an LS with a semicolon here? HTTP 404 file not found. I don't know exactly what is processing this. It does, however, see the server. And this is just a view source thing. So can I run like uh, that? Oh, okay, okay, that dies. Great. Uh, how about a little backtick once? Uh, did I just straight up kill it? Did I just break that yet again? I. God damn. Okay, no, it's it's doing its thing, but those other strings don't want to work for me. Okay. Um, can I request locally? How about that? File, etc. password. File URL connection cannot be cast to a java.net HTTP URL connection. Sunnet protocol? Why can it not be requested? Mm. What if I go back to uploading a file? Does it actually upload? Maybe does it store it anywhere? Let's go to exif utils one more time. Exif util. Um, let's upload that file. Let's do that headshot, submit it. And it just displays that out. Not helpful though. 
let's upload that test.html. File format cannot be determined. Exif utils. Photo classroom. What am I missing here? Is there more in this API? I don't want to derbust. I don't want to go buster it again. Because what if it just kills the thing? Simple web app. Start off with a simple web app. Can you find the hidden flag? Oh, there's a hint. A well-known file may offer some help. You mean like that robots.txt that we were getting at? Is the, oh no, is the backup thing something I'm actually supposed to go to? Is there like a flag.back.txt? No. There's not literally a star dollar sign. That's not a real thing. Index.back.txt? What are these pages that I can go to? You can see me completely lost here, so fun. Fun, fun, fun video. Allow everything, disallow API, disallow exit utils, and there's nothing else in this file, obviously, because it's a text file. Is there a robots.back.txt? No. Is there a login.back.txt? No. Those are the only pages, though, supposedly. Mm. API, nothing to see here, move along. Is that, that's HTML though, isn't it? API index.html, I don't know how view and this Nux thing is gonna end up rendering. Oh, that's actually a thing though. There's no way that that's gonna end up having its own backup file though, in it, in like its own, subsequent directory it's dot back dot text right or am i misinterpreting oh resource not found a lol exif is the only thing that actually returns something but that <laughs> dies with an internal server error is there a flag in the internal server error that would be fun <laughs> Let's try to get our file things in here again. Files not allowed. Sun dub 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 protocol. I want to know what this thing is. There's nothing in courses. Is there anything in courses? No, I can't get in there. Is there a, oh, admin.txt. Or admin.back.txt? Spinning? Is that an actual request there? Or is that just going to die? I don't know. Because, like, this isn't going to return HTML. That is just not loading. Courses.back.txt. Did I break the server again? Anything.back.txt is just hanging now. Supposedly.
Hmm. Okay. Well, if we uploaded a real thing, we get this EXIF data. And I don't know if that's being processed like by a command though. So if we give it a 404, it returns a file not found as it should. If I just do a little like netcat connection to call back to me, can I like see what it does? <laughs> Eight oh oh oh. Oh no, I'm trying to type with my keyboard beneath me. Java 11.0. It's looking for JPEGs. Ah. Uh, Yeah, and it dies. Makes sense. It's not going to render out the HTML, which makes sense. We can't access local files, supposedly. Never occurred, file format cannot be retrieved. We made the thing hang. What? All right, let's go back to our, well, GoBuster with the API didn't get anything though. In fact, I broke the thing when I tried to <laughs> restart the machine. Did we ever get any hits whatsoever? No. Not at all. Can I use W fuzz or fuff? Fuff, right? Fuff is the thing that lets me like fuzz a thing. Do I have fuff, fuff, <laughs> fuff, GitHub, fuff, not a thing. Let's, uh, you know, let's get it. Git clone, CD fluff, go, go, get fuff. <laughs> Uh, I do have Go, pretty sure. Let's move into my op directory, just in case it throws anything in that like, current directory. I think Go just puts it in Go's like Go path or Go binary thing. There we go, now we have Guff, Fuff. Uh, and now I think I need to reset my path. Fuff, where did you put it? Dot, Go, Go, What? what is my... What is my go path? Oh God. <laughs> Do I actually have go? No. I mean, I do. All right. <laughs> Let's go build. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, just download the thing. Clone it, download it, get it and build it. I don't want to deal with that path stuff right now. Mm, fuff. Incredible. Okay. So we need a word list, which can be directory list medium. Uh, and let's do that URL, right? HTTP. This thing. dot back dot text. However, is it going to take forever to load? No. Okay, it's actually good. Fuzz, right? Dot back 
dot text. Oh, I kind of wanted that output actually to see that help help info. Word list, URL, MC all, FS42, fuzz, math, all responses, filter those with content size 42, colored verbose output. Oh, I want that colored verbose output. Okay, those are all going to return things with a status 200 of 141 words. So that syntax said filter out content size 42. So FS. Uh, 3834, right? I have no idea if that will actually return literally anything. But let's do it. <laughs> Fingers crossed, it probably won't get any hits. Only 207,643 things to do. Ugh. That is the syntax according to robots.txt. Like that is the file name schema. Dot back dot text. Yeah. This is something that should have been a live stream. Seemingly no flags here. Ultimately, we're still looking for a flag, but we need to get on the box too. <laughs> One of the machines, oh, as in there's multiple? That's exciting. A well-known file may offer some help. Find the flag hidden in the web app. We know through robots.txt that slash API and slash exif util are things, and so is a dot back dot txt. We're fuzzing the dot back dot txt. API is seemingly a dead end, but there's no way that's a dead end. If we go back to this, what can I upload? That gets a temporary service and available. Um, if we go back to ourselves, what was my IP address again? Oh no, Fuff, don't do it. Don't display like that. You're gonna hurt yourself. I killed the other forward slash headshot.png. Something bad happened. Is that? Oh, God, I broke it. It's dead. Because I was straight fuzzing with fuff. <laughs> oh, no. Should I just like let that go? I feel like it would have found somebody. now. I'm running out of steam, guys. I'll be honest. How is that? Oh, is it? Everything is broken because of the rate limiting. I'm just looking at cached pages right now. No. This is dirty. I feel so bad. I have to like keep rebooting the box. Gosh. All right, this is going real well, everybody. <laughs> okay, I have got a new machine. <laughs> uh, hopefully we won't have to deal with all the rate limiting. Um, let's just get ourselves back 
in check. If we're finding a back.txt and we can't fuzz with fuff because of the rate limiting, maybe it's gotta be some things that we know already exist. We tried login, we tried index, we, we tried API, right? But I mean, that's a directory. What about that exif util thing on its own? Oh! Oh, okay. Um, so this is the source code for the exif util functionality. All the view stuff. And once we submit something, it has a URL. And if you submit a URL, it retrieves something from HTTP API dev backup 8080 exif. Okay. So that is new. But that is probably something like that's if it's a different thing because port 8080 isn't open on my it, it isn't accessible or visible to me like when I end map scan it we didn't see 8080 um, but I wouldn't be able to reach that locally from my own attacker machine but this thing maybe can can I can I like reach this API through the other one. So we want to go to this page and we were going to API slash exif and that gets our internal server error, but we need to supply a link. Uh, so URL can equal this. Paste that in. And that gets the nothing to see here move along HTML. I'm repeatedly getting messages. Stand by. Pause the video. All right. Um, but if this is just the API, is that one going to be rate limited? Can we hit that thing? That just is the API. So there's not going to be anything else there other than EXIF as far as we know but that gets the internal server error. Can I request things? If this is if this is the backup API, is there more to this? Is there like a flag right there? No, seemingly. Could not find resource for full path. I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, I don't wanna fuzz this thing though, cause it's just gonna break again. Can I request things through this? But I'm gonna to need to like URL encode this question mark, right? Or will that work? If I just try to like go to me, uh, this IP address, right? Uh, that's like tunneled, tunneled through. I don't know if that will work. Response timed out. That thing probably can't reach me. Or can it? No, it can't. Looking at the time and that's not the latest thing. So can this thing read files? Requests contained bad words. What? What are the bad words there? Password? Or just file? What are the bad words? <laughs> File format cannot be determined. Retrieve content. It got nothing because it's not a real thing. 
file. File colon colon colon. Bad words. Okay, so that is disabled. Is there anything that this can reach locally? Oh God, on itself? If we set the URL to call itself, we can go to 8080 again. Nothing to see here, move along, but then we're just getting like nested for literally no reason. XF. No, slash XF. There's no no reason to do that. Unless there's like more functionality in this for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. Can this thing request a file? A. That's just completely taking a guess at a URL parameter. Probably nothing there. Is there a standard for like APIs to have a, what is rest easy that thing? Oh, that's probably the kind of API. Rest easy API. Jags. Is that, why is there no actual help for that? Or is there? Like I want to know a list of your endpoints that this API can offer. Mm. If we use a file on this thing, do we get a, like by default, if we use a file instead of a password, do we get a request contained bad words? No, it just says that. So that's different when we use file, exif, URL equals file. Is there some weird, nope, that won't work. Oh. That one is using curl. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, that's how we get access. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, do we use a little, uh, you know, if that is just straight run up commit, that dies. <laughs> uh, tag tag help slash ls. Come on, come on. Yeah, <laughs> there's new info there. Let's do a little, who am I? You know, let's just see uh, who we're working. <laughs> what? What? Um, let's get a reverse shell, right? Or can we get a reverse shell? This thing can't reach us. Is this the only command application stuff that we have? Like command and... No, no. Let's just run the find command. Dot slash application. That's literally it. Can I just cat the application? Oh, God. Cat application. Uh, <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> See how long this takes to come back. Checking my phone for a moment. Okay, that died. Read timed out. Mm. Can I ls tac la slash home? Root root. What is in this? Oh. 
Also, where is this flag that I'm supposed to have? <laughs> oh. Can I get those backups now? Like, what are we listening in? Um... Slash home has nothing. How about our home directory? Root has a dev note. All right, we need to stop running slash help at the very stop at the very top of this because that's kind of useless. Uh, we do have dev note though, so let's cat that out. Cat slash root slash dev hyphen note dot text. Ooh, hey guys. Apparently, leaving the flag in Docker access on the server is a bad idea, or so the security guys tell me. I've deleted the stuff. Anyway, the password is that. Fluffy bunnies, one, two, three. Uh, password for what? Cheers, Hydra. Well, that's new. Let's uh, let's save this stuff just to keep these things in mind. I guess we should start a little readme, readme. Slap that in. Um, okay. Password for what? Is that something that I can SSH with? Is it going to be SSH into that? So fluffy bunnies one, two, three is the password. If I were to SSH into, well, no, that's not going to be. Seemingly, that is a password for backup right we know ssh is open but that's going to be quote unquote the production server and i is it is it still open why did that take so long why did that not return anything <laughs> Maybe that's for the backups. Um, nothing in opt. How about var? There is backups, var backups. That's nothing there. SSH just straight doesn't come back. Wasn't SSH open in our stinking Nmap? Twenty two is totally open. I understand. <laughs> Keep looking around, I guess, the file system. There isn't a var dub dub dub, though, which is weird to me. Um, there is a dot git, though, which is peculiar. We should be able to see our dot docker env because we know we are in there. Oh, there is a slash work directory. Uh, that's new, work application. And that's a file, which is way too big. Can I horrendously base64 this application? Uh, work application. Because it's, I don't know what the file might be. It's huge though. There's no way that's going to come back in time. That will not work. I don't think that's going to work. Nope. <laughs> Okie dokie. So what else do we have? 
Oh, 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 oh. Maybe we can cat out, uh, et cetera, hosts to get a better idea as to what APIs are in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so 192, 192.168.112.2 .192 is going to be the API dev backup. So that could very well be useful. I wanted to copy that, not open dev tools. Copy that. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. A little bit of new Intel. What else do we got? You know, a regular reverse shell would kind of be nice, but I'm not positive that this thing can call back to me. So, because it's kind of internal. <laughs> IP, if I run IP, no, I don't have that. Do I have IF config? I don't have that. What do I have? <laughs> I don't have anything. Do I have netcat? URL contains bad words. Which netcat? It doesn't like netcat? Bin? What's in slash bin? Classic same old stuff. Crap. What do I do? Do I have Python? Also contains bad words. How about Python? Echo Python pipe to TR slash delete spaces. Oh God. Do I have bash? Also contains bad words. There's some filter going on that's janky and annoying. Um, what is my shell right? Uh, I probably just can't run bash whatsoever. Yeah, okay. Quest contains bad words. What other things can I use? Perl is also filtered out. Hmm. There was nothing in home. Oh God, did I break it? No, okay. Don't you, don't you put that evil on me, Bobby. Media, mount, opt, proc. Crap. The only, maybe Docker is listening on, like, do I have Docker in this? No, because I am in a Docker container. Do I have Netstat? No. SSH has to come back at some point, right? All I have is a password. Find the flag hidden in the web app, which we don't have. Oh God. Okay, <laughs> that was weird. Computer's dying.
there is no like flag dot back dot text. We already we already saw that. We can look for like a find tech name. Uh, oh God, this is gonna kind of be horrendous though. I mean, it's a Docker container. It shouldn't take too long, right? Flag name, flag, find. Yeah, I mean, okay, there's stuff. Nothing good though. <laughs> Apparently leaving the flag and Docker access on the server is a bad idea, or so the security guys tell me. I've deleted the stuff. Anyway, the password is fluffybunnies123. Cheers, Hydra. Can I log in with that? Hydra, fluffybunnies123, invalid username or password. Hydra, capital, uh, admin. Oh, let my wits end, everybody. Okay, so the flag format is seemingly THM, but Silly devs leaving their backups lying around. I don't think I'm that far anyway. Let's try to do a W get back to me. Just to see, you know? Don't even have W yet. Frickin'. <laughs> we definitely have curl. But that's gonna fail. Like, we know that's gonna fail. I really think SSH should be up and like functioning, right? Or, oh, it has a question mark. It doesn't even know if it's SSH. It might not be. What is that? Hello? <laughs> Why? Uh, do a little aggressive, man, on port 22. Tell me if that's SSH or not. Because I don't think it is. <clears throat> this is a struggle bus. Y'all got any more hints for me? We're root in a Docker environment. Question is, how can we break out? Without access.
Well, is there a Docker service up and running HTTP wise that we could access things through that, through the original web page? Like, we know that we are API dev backup on eighty eighty on one, but if on dot two, but if we were to go to twenty two, one is a thing that should theoretically return the page. Ah. No, that didn't return. I don't know where else, how else we could access the original box through this Docker container. All right, took a quick break. Let's keep trying. Curl isn't working. We know we have this dev note with the password. Um, the git thing is weirding me out though. Like the fact that that's there, can I cat out that git config? Hydragram at example.com, name is Hydra and that's the user for git, so Can I just simply run git? Yep, so we have git. If I do a git log, is there anything that's done? No, not a git repository or any of the parent directories dot git. So I need to cd into root first, but can I, can I have git log like work out of a specific directory? If I just move into git, do I tell it? Oh, tax C is path. Is that right? If I do the man git, tax C, run, if, run as if git were started in path instead of the current work directory. Yeah, 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 okay. I see it right there. So let's do that. Let's do a git log, a git tax C slash root with log. Aha. Fix the dev note. Remove the flag and original dev note because security. <laughs> Added the flag and dev notes. Okay. Um, Added the flag and dev notes. Let's do a git show on that commit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey guys. I got tired of losing the SSH key all the time, so I set up a way to open the Docker for remote admin. Just knock on ports 421337, all these things to open the Docker TCP port. And there's a flag. Ooh, the root flag. Okay. So I'm assuming that's going to be the one for this thing. Although I have been explicitly asked, please don't submit flags to uh, ruin statistics or whatever. Um, so I'm assuming that's gonna be that one, but we still don't have a simple web app. Dude, why didn't I do that earlier? If we saw Git was here, I should have at least checked out all those version stuff. Man, we spent so much time bumping around and now we at least have one flag. Added the flag in dev notes. Now we know some port knocking technique, which is very slick. Um, let's slap this into our notes because that's pretty handy dandy. Um, 
Let's get that in there. Set up a way to open up the Docker for remote admin, to open the Docker TCP port. Just knock on ports, those things. Um, but that should be on the original port, right? What is the Docker TCP port by default? Docker TCP port is 2376. 2375 when it's using TLM. Yeah, or 2375 when communication is in plain text. Okay. So. Is there anything else that I should get out of this? Let me see if this does a git show on that. That just removes it. That's it. The other one is replacing the dev node. So git show that one just for a good sanity check. And we have the same password that we already knew. So... I hope that was readable. I don't know if my face is in the way. Git show. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, let's do this port knock and see if we can open up the Docker TCP port. So let me nmap tack v on the original host, this guy right now considering we've reverted it like 7,000 times. Um, on port 2375, it's a Yeah, 2375. That should tell me that it's closed, but it does know that that is the Docker port. So if I were to knock on those ports, let's go 42. Let's go one, excuse me, 1337. Holy cow. Um, 10, 4, 2, 0. Uh, 6, 9, 6, 9. Oh, I see what you did here. <laughs> I see the sequence of numbers. Uh, 6, 3, 0, 0, 0. Good. And let's get back to our 2375 and see if that service is open. Still closed. Uh, I hate port knocking because I never get it right. I never understand how the thing is supposed to be done. There is like a port knock knocker tool, port knocker GitHub knock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple Python port knocking client. Knock at that server on those IP addresses. That's it. Okay. Um, do I already have that? Is that in? Oh, I do. <laughs> Great. Let's uh, move into knock. That's there. We know the IP address here. That thing, and then the ports that we want to knock in the sequence. We'll just spit these and remove commas and remove that word and. So let's slap in those. And it did it. So now let's see if that nmap tag v tag p 2375 should be open. Yes! <laughs> Script kitty coming back at you. Just use other people's tools. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would never. Um, now we got Docker. Um, I could just totally connect to that. Can I not? Two, three, seven, five. Page not found. Is there a script? <laughs> Docker TCP enumerate? Attacking Docker exposed API. Let me let me read that real quick. Today we're going to explore some of the security risks associated with Docker, examining their consequences of exposing the native Docker API to the external world. 
We could do it with Portainer. I've used Portainer before. Very simple lab. Good enough. And then you could do it. So it gets it. It sees Docker. And we can curl it with JSON, right? Let's try that. Let's do a little uh, curl here. Let's do a curl HTTP that thing. Page not found. Oh yeah, version. Aha, let's pipe that to JQ and see what we got here, ladies and gentlemen. Docker engine community, latest version. Run C, Docker, Inet. Good, good, good. Okay. Now, test the exposed API using the Docker CLI. Obviously, we need to have Docker exposed. Yep. Okay, so you need to have Docker installed. I have Docker installed, so let's use that same command. And uh, can I run info? And there we go. I think four containers. Is it is it running it on my machine though? It shouldn't be. How many containers are running? PS. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we got some stuff. Endless SH. That must be the fake SSH thing. What are the images pulled on the host machine? Are there some stopped containers? I guess that's a good thing to, to look through. There are just the same ones. What are the images pulled? I just want to run through this enumeration to kind of understand a little bit more. Debian, Nginx, unless SSH. Okie dokie. Could be images with juicy info. Maybe you could run those. Yes, can I access them? Spawning a shell inside a container is done by the exec command. In this case, we want to spawn a bash shell. So checking out the running instances, front end is a thing. Um, and that's running on front end one, that process. So if I were to just exec it bin bash and that, will it work? Exec it container name bin bash. Fingers crossed. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. I, uh, I see that now. Uh, obviously I'm root because I'm in that container. Um, nothing in that root directory? Lame. LS Tech LA, I'm still in home. Let's get to uh, LS Tech LA. We know this is a Docker environment, right? There might be some backups lying around. If we're in the front end, we're probably involved. Backups, maybe? No? Mm. Let's do a let's do a good old find again. Let's do a find tag name on that flag. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Same stuff. Let's check out the etc. hosts one more time, because Docker Escape THM. Oh yeah, completely different subnet, completely different thing. Okay. But those are only some. This is only one of the containers. XF API, XF API dev, that might be worthwhile. Endless SSH, I think, is the trap because we know SSH is not real, supposedly. Dev backup one. Well, we were just there. We were accessing that thing. 
Um, do I have W get? Do I have curl? Curl. I do have curl. So do I, I can just like open nano though, can't I? Vim, VI at the very least, Pico. I got nothing. I got no text editors to work with. Straight echo and that's it. Do we have said? Oh, we have said. Oh, fantastic. Mm -mm -mm. Docker entry point dot D. This is on iPad v6 by default, MV subset on templates. I'm just bumping around this file system. So forgive me. What is running? I don't have, gosh, PS, I don't have that. Fantastic. They just list stuff out of proc. Be super gross, but we could do it. Nothing in temp. We already know everything that's in var, supposedly. Temp. Backups had nothing. Cache. What? <laughs> um, root had nothing. Home had nothing. Nginx PID. Is there a cron jobs running? No. Well, let's check those images again um, because some of those might still be useful and we should go explore the other ones. I'm going to throw that in my notes. We just bumped around in front end, which didn't seem to have anything worthwhile for us. Uh, endless SSH. Which one we were we just? Which one were we in? XF API Dev. When we were running it like within the web browser. Oh, machine expiring soon. Don't you dare! I've been doing this for way too long, but somehow still <laughs> not long enough. Let's do a little host name on that. API Dev backup. So XF API is prod, like the production one. So if I were to grab this one and exec into that, ooh, I am not root in this. I am Quarkus. <laughs> So what do we got in here? Hello, 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 home, so shalom, cat, etc. Password, Quarkus is a weird boy. Um, I could run who am I again over and over again, but that's not gonna tell me anything. LSLA root, we're still in Docker container. Yes, we know. Um, Quarkus in work oh now we have actual like command line access access though so we could probably like actually figure out what this application is never mind we could just <laughs> churn this out how wait this thing's like a freaking gig isn't it ls tech la h 50 max is it worth it i mean I always say, you know, try everything. So let's do it. Let's do a little base 64 W zero application and let that rip. Oh God. Oh, isn't it a beautiful sight? Ladies and gentlemen, 
isn't it so marvelous seeing God's creation <laughs> spat out on your screen? Dope. Let's um let's try and steal this. Let's get this one right here. Let's copy and paste all of this base 64. My terminal might have crashed. Okay, no, he's, he's still here. He's still here. Okay, I was. Let's get that. Make a little sublime text window. Try and paste that all in, dear God. That's gonna crash my computer. <laughs> we'll let we'll let sublime text work. You know, we'll let it. We'll let him deal with the clipboard. Oh God. Has my terminal died? Sublime text, what'd you do? Terminal died. Freaking fantastic. <laughs> Is this thing still on my clipboard? Nope. Terminator couldn't get it. Uh, all right, well, you know what? We still have some progress here. We still have our Docker H to connect to this. So I am still connected to the VPN though, am I, right? Like, open VPN's not going to die. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Application D Quarkus. Let's explore endless SSH here. Um, exec tech IT, that container name, bin bash. Doesn't have that. Bin sh. Who am I? Root. Is there anything worthwhile in this? Probably not. Ash history. No, no, sorry. I, I wanted a cat. It's at your password, not change my password. Nobody. Cyrus? Who the heck are you, Cyrus? It looks like a system account for some weird reason. Um, this feels like a dud. Because it's, it's just fake SSH. What is, what is endless SSH? Gosh, dang it. Stop giving me these. Do I have strings? Oh, thank God, I have strings. Okay. Just in case this is a binary file, which it is. It's it's just an SSH client or HSH server that's a vortex, I'm going to assume. Is that like a known thing? Endless SSH? Yeah. <laughs> That is incredible. I have learned something new. <laughs> All right, cool. I have fun with that, you know, at the very least. I don't think there's anything in this. What else do we have? Is there a way to see the privileges of a Docker container? Because if we could try some like, hey, Docker escapes or is there more to do with this Docker API? Exploiting exposed Docker. Deep CE. Hmm.
honestly, I haven't done all this all that much, so I'm not positive. One run C was mentioned in the Docker info. Oh, hey, it's zero day. <laughs> Please review the talks in order. Deep C. Can I use this? I mean, I don't want to install packages, primarily because I can't. Oh, you can use no network. Okay. Um... This looks possible, but I still don't know if like any of these are privileged containers. Docker, check for, Docker check privileged. How to know if a Docker container, Docker inspect, format that thing. Okay. Can I do that? And then it needs the container ID. So I'm assuming that front end is not going to be privileged, right? Is the dev API going to be privileged? Are any of these going to be privileged? <laughs> Endless SSH, I don't have a whole lot of hope for you, my friend. Nope. Okie dokie. Hmm. What? How did the machine get terminated? I added an hour. All right. Track me is just bugging out. That's fine. Simple web app. I mean, the front end, I should still be able to actually go find that flag on. I need to go do that because I don't think I ever did. Um, let's go ahead and exec IT. Bin bash. Uh, no, it's it's container first. There, there should be a flag. But dub 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 is not a thing. var dub 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 was not a thing so it's not like a normal web server um however 80 is running so like nginx is happening somewhere nginx nginx dot configuration file where are you working Include MIME types. Yeah, but where? <laughs> but where? US, it's, is it the WSGI thing? 
Is it in conf.d? Yeah, okay. So it's in user share nginx html. Gotcha. Okay. Can I get into admin? Uh Hello? <laughs> Is there a flag anywhere? I have strings, so let's do a little strings everything. I don't have strings. You what? Do I have a grep for the love of God? Yeah, okay, grep tag I, let's do a recursive I and let's look for the THM. That's not helpful. Um, e? No. Where on the web server am I supposed to find this flag? There's a readme. This is rough, ladies and gentlemen. Browser config? Courses is a thing. Is there anything else more in Exifutil? Nope. Same horrendous view. That's another login. Unless, is it like in Nuxt? Robots.tech should still be the same. Ugh. I don't know where the heck I'm supposed to find that flag in the initial. But I still need to get to the original machine. I'm still just looking in Docker containers right now. Can, can you exploit expose Docker API? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, can I just like, can I build a new image? That's a thing, isn't it? GTF Open so just has like a quick one-liner for it. And I know I made a video on it and I like overexposed the thing. <laughs> um, let's see if I can just make that Alpine container. Will that just work? I'll be pretty dang happy if it would. You have Alpine, do you not? You're not going to be able to pull it down, I don't think. You have images, though. You have Alpine in your images. Alpine. Uh, 3.9. The tag is 3.9, looking back here. So... Oh! Root in the container. I have a slash mount. What? We put it in mount. Did we not? Wait. I am in the current one. Because it, it ch rooted that into that. With that syntax. 
So if I were to check out its server password, I am Hydra. I, I, I have a Hydra user. That's it. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Hoo -hoo -hoo. Type that stupid cat syntax, damn it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was fun. And I still don't even have the web flag. <laughs> that took way too long. And we're still not done. <laughs> okay. Um, so that would be the great escape. Uh, we already have root root. Unless that's the simple web app one. There's a flag hidden by root on one of the machines. Can you find it? Maybe, um, maybe the web app one is that. So... Let's do a little Docker PS one more time and just try like a find command for the things that are owned. Oh, I have some Docker ones. So my own local Docker stuff. <laughs> uh, Docker PS to get into one of these machines, front end. Um, 8080 was the one that has the port exposed. Uh, exec IT port bin bash, bask. So that will let me into that. And I need to find a name flag dot text one more time. And it's owned by root. I don't have a freaking. <laughs> Can I like privesk in this? I don't have sudo. The only other one that I'm... Did we do it in front end? Did we, did we run that in front end? Like did we hunt for a flag within front end using find? Because we were root on that. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Rep tag R I T H M. Good luck. <laughs> Let's uh, put that in one. Um, Let's put that in one pane and then let's look again in the API dev backup one. Docker connect into that. I am supposedly root. Let's do a find tag name. Does this have find for the love of gosh? It does, but it doesn't find anything. Let's do a grep, uh, let's get into root grep tack R I T H M. We'll set that to a different color. Do the same thing for the original production API. Oh, it was a fail. Copy pasta. Copy paste. There we go. We don't have find though. Ls tech r. Let's look for a flag dot text. Can I do a little grep for that? 
Nope. I probably can't get into root though, but I don't have pseudo. Sorry, got a notification. Um, I think I'm going down the wrong road here. Not gonna lie. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the thought that the root flag is the one that I got while I was root looking in the git logs and the simple web app, a well-known file may offer some help. That is a dot well-known file. There is that. Did I just not see that? When I was looking in the web root, forbidden, flag.txt. Whatever. This is this is front end. In a good old blue. I know you guys don't like that color. <laughs> so we'll go back to the hardcore uh, black stuff. It's it's in user share share? Share. Nginx HTML and there is a dot well known. Oh my gosh. Security dot text. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Ping API fl. <laughs> That's totally flag with a little lead speak upside down G. Uh, but you know, let's just hop on over there because we literally already own this thing. Uh, can we get into the API? Ah, uh, no, whatever. You know what? Let's just stink and do it from curl. Curl, tack, X. Give me a head. Uh, HTTPP. Get this URL. Gosh darn it. Slap that bad boy in there. We have double HTTP schemas now. A good. Does it work? Okay. You may, it may not work the way you want. <laughs> Use tac tac head. <laughs> Great. Holy cow. That was way too long. That was way too much agony. That was uh, a, a horrendous video for you to have to sit through and watch. But uh, we finally did it. We finally got all of the flags. This was a trial by fire um, cold case of me trying to jump in and figure this thing out. Um, truth be told, I, I did like ask for some sanity checks. I'm like, I reached out to Fawaz and the the creator here, uh, like, hey, is this 503 server error like supposed to be happening? Uh, is is this thing supposed to actually be accessible in the API? Um, what am I going through the right order of the flags because I'm not able to submit them? I don't know what's what. Uh, so I did uh, ask for a little lifeline and phone a friend on this one. But I mean, look, I, I hope that goes to show like there's no shame in doing that. I hope that goes to show like the whole whole point is to learn, right? And if you're banging your head against the wall for way too long, don't like kill yourself. Like you don't, don't, don't beat yourself up, you know? So uh, that's that. I don't know if anyone would like to see a more formal, actually procedural, like, packaged and bundled education video on this thing, but I just kind of just went in for it and stumbled and failed the entire time. But uh, I hope we had fun. I hope you had fun. We got the web app flag by finding that dot well known. It took us to the very, very, it took me to the very, very end to realize, oh, that's actually indicating the dot well known. And I know that directory, like I've, I've seen and used that for a capture the flag event. Like that was in a game that we've hosted. Uh, getting the root one was going through some SSRF or server-side request forgery to reach the internal Docker API dev backup thing. Um, and then we were able to read the messages in the Git log in the Git directory within slash root. Uh, and that gave us that flag and also led us to the eventual port knocking that opened up the Docker API. And then through the Docker API, we were able to just run a run a new container, start a new instance with the Alpine image that's there, mounted the original file system. So we had root on the core actual machine, 10.10.56.195. 10 
So that broke us out of the, that, that helped us do our Docker escape and got us onto the actual machine. So, holy cow, I am, uh, I'm burning out from this one. That was a lot of fun though. Uh, Fawaz, I hope this was the uh, exciting and extravagant release that you wanted. Uh, but this was my solution agonizingly and painfully slow but uh hey you know what that goes to show there there's so much fail in in hacking and so much fail in learning this stuff but you just kind of power through and reach out when you need it so all right that's the end of the video I'm done. <laughs> that, that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, everybody. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you like this kind of cool casual hangout session style, me just goofing off and uh, going in without any notion of what WTF I'm doing, that was this. So let me know if you want to see more like this and we'll do it and we'll jam and we'll hang out and uh, we'll keep having fun. But please do all those YouTube algorithm things. I'd love to see you hit that like button. I'd love to see you maybe leave a comment, you know, type whatever you want uh, and smash subscribe hit that bell, all those things that uh, overexcited YouTubers put, put together and say. So thanks for watching, everybody. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. <laughs> Goodbye.